it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with another video. So, um, I recently talked about the uh, Visconti uh, Traveling Inkwell. Um, I talked about it when I unboxed my Homo Sapiens and said that I was thinking about getting a second one for this pen once I figure out which ink is going to be its permanent ink um, because I hate cleaning these out. As much as I love these pens, like cleaning them out is a drag. So, um, yeah, so my Bronze Age has one that has its, its special ink and I didn't, you know, cleaning this out is also kind of a pain in the butt. So I didn't want to clean it out every time I needed to fill one of these pens. So I, um, got a second one and I wanted to kind of talk about that. And then also, um, I was talking to somebody and I was like, I swear I somehow got a Peniter filler and, um, I was able to find it. So, um, I also want to ink up this pen and finish a bottle of ink. So we're going to talk about these and then we're also going to talk about this, <coughs> excuse me talk about this and I've never tried this out. In fact, it was sitting, I have some cubbies in my room where I keep a bunch of stuff and I found it in there, like at the bottom. So I haven't even, I don't even know if I've looked at it. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna um, enjoy these together. I thought I should make, I thought about making separate videos, but then I was like, nah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but I'll show you um, like what pens fit in this and, um, because you don't have to use them only for backfiller, you can use them for anything. Um, I just specifically only use them for these two pens because it's it makes filling them a lot easier. And I actually have to fill this one, so we'll get to I'll demonstrate that as well. So this is what the new one looks like. I actually opened it up already because I uh, was intrigued. Actually, the change is what uh, prompted me to want to. Um, make a video, but this is what the new one looks like. So this is what the old one looks like. I got this a few years ago, shortly after I got this pen. I've tried filling it from bottles, which you can do. Um, I just was worried about knocking the bottle over or having ink come out of it. So, um, so it was worth it to me to get this. And it's been super awesome, actually. Um, I have this pen permanently inked with a Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue. This is the second or third bottle I have of this ink. Um, I just really love it, and I love it in this pen, and mostly I don't want to clean it out and find another ink to use in it. So, <laughs> so this ink will always have Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue until they don't make this ink anymore, or I just decide that I'm over it. Um, but yeah, so what I do is this uh, inkwell holds about five mil worth of ink, so I just take a syringe. Um, it also comes with an eyedropper, but oops, that is, already has cat hair on it. Fancy. Um, it comes with an eyedropper, but I kind of find this to be like annoying to use, so I just grab a syringe and just like pull up five mils and then squirt it in there. It has a line on it, which you could probably see better on this one because it doesn't have ink in it. And you fill it to that line and then you stick your pen in it. So I'll show you. The, this top, so mine old one is supposed to have a top like this, but I went to clean it out um, not too long ago and the top went flying off and I don't know where it is. But the top just holds, it covers, this fell out, so it's also covered in cat hair. Um, it holds a little, uh, a little like foam piece and you can use it to like clean off your nib. Um, I guess in a, in a travel emergency. <laughs> and then um, this just comes off and then you have, then you fill this. I'm not gonna fill this one yet because I don't know what ink I'm going to use. Um, but I wanted to have it ready cause I've narrowed it down to a couple. Um, so yeah, so then this just sits on top and then, yeah, and then you just carry it with you. And it's really great because it fits like in your pen holder. So if I wanted to have, oops, this is a Rickshaw three pen sleeve. It's the Barrister, um, Harris Tweed. If I wanted to have like my pens in there and then carry an inkwell with it, I'll put this one in there. Um, this is the medium size and it technically fits these pens and that inkwell. Um, I also have another case, but just fits in, you can fit it in your pen case. So if you carry a pen case with you, um, if you have, let's say I have a knock over here. If 
if you have like a knock case, you can stick like your pen and your inkwell and your other pen and a notebook. I don't have one sitting here to put in there, but throw your notebook in there and then you've got your case that you just uh, carry around with you. So it's super convenient. I really like that about it um, because it is basically pen sized. So I think that's kind of awesome. Um, yeah, and it does have instructions in here. Um, it kind of like shows you what to do or whatever, but you can use converter pens. It has instructions for all of them, the vac filler and, um, converter pens. I honestly, I've never, ever looked at these. This is the first time I've ever looked at these. Um, you could also use a piston pen to fill. Um, so yeah, so you can use it for as, as uh, any pen basically, as long as it'll fit in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'm gonna move that as well. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and show you how you do it. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna show you, it just goes in here. And then the, there's um like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a rubber ring in there and it just holds, it just holds the pen. So I want to see what uh, pens fit in there because I know that this one does. So I grabbed a Lamy Safari that technically fits in there. And then if you had a converter, you could just twist the converter. Um, I was going to say, yeah, it's not super loose, but if you had a converter in there, you could twist the converter and it'd be just fine. You don't want it to be super loose because then it could go into the bottom of the pen, like a vanishing point. Like if you're going to fill this, this would be way too small. I guess you could do it if you like held it and finagled yourself, but I wouldn't mess with it. Actually, I syringe filled this converter anyway. Um, what other pens we've got? have my Birmingham 6th Avenue that technically fits as well so then I could use the converter and fill the ink um, a Twisby Twisby would technically fit although Twisby makes their own I actually had one and I definitely can't find that one for the vac filler um, it's kind of a rinky dink piece of junk in my personal opinion. It's plastic and just the way this cover fits on it, I don't I don't care for it, but it makes filling that pen super easy. It's not the 50 mil bottle, it's like the like the tall skinny version. Um, here's a Franklin Kristoff. That will also fit. I hope that these have been in frame. Um, let me just go ahead and show you just in case they weren't. Here's the Lamy. And this is almost a little too big, so I would just be careful because basically to fill it, you kind of have to tip it over. So you want it to be, if you're going to use that feature of it, you want it to be able to fit in there. Otherwise, you're going to end up with ink everywhere. So it's kind of small. I think you could do it, but I probably wouldn't. Um, a Kaveco? Probably not. Although technically, yeah, you could fit a Kaveco in there. I'd be worried though still. But, um, like, yeah, I already did the Kaveco. Um, Sailor Pro Gear? Maybe? It seems like it still has a lot of give, so I wouldn't want to push it too far. But I guess if you wanted to, you could. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this in a different in the other one, but uh, the Pilot Custom. Although it lets me push that in, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, maybe. Pilot Custom 823. I have, I did the Sailor Pro Gear I'm on the studio. Oops. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know if I'd trust it. Pilot Falcon. 
technically i guess yes you could it feels like it has it feels like you could maybe it feels like maybe the ink would start leaking out of it if you weren't careful twisby eco yeah technically i mean it almost lets you like shove the pen in there so i don't know that i care for that um oh a jinhao that needs to be wiped off. This pen is going in the clean pile. Um, what did I have in this pen? That's gross. Oh, I know what that is. I mean, technically, although I'd be scared, yep. Yeah. I'd be scared about getting it out. Yeah, so maybe you wouldn't want to do that, or you'd just be really super careful. Um, wing song. Uh, yeah, that technically fits. Um, a pelican, M205. Yeah, you could probably do that. And yeah, that's all I have right now. So we'll revisit these in a minute. Um, and then I'll show you how to use this one. Whoops. This ring coming off. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't recall that ring coming off on my other one. So yeah, so you could fit a ton of pens in here and try to use them but <clears throat> I only use them for these two pens. So to fill it, you just pop the little thingy off, the little stopper off, and then you shove the pen in there. And then you see that we have ink in there. So to fill a power fill or a vacuum fill, you just pull the plunger back. And then because you want the ink to fill into the pen, you tip it over, which seems scary, which is why I said I was worried about ink leaking. And then hold on to it, like definitely hold on to it. And then you can push the plunger up and your pen fills. And I usually pump it a couple of times. I usually do two and then three just to make sure. And then that's from the bottle, not from this. And then you pull your pen off and you have ink in it. And you can see that we have used ink because I had this filled to the top of the line where it's supposed to be. Cat my pen off fast. Because you can see that we have used half of the ink. So I could probably get another fill, maybe another fill and a half out of this and then before I'd have to refill it. So you can see how much ink is still in that pen or in the in here. But when we started it, we had it filled and it basically has used what was in that whole window, which is a couple of mils. And then, and then you can, you should probably wipe it off because there does get a little bit around the, the edge there. I like kind of soaking it up anyway, otherwise ink goes everywhere. And then you can write with the pen. Ta-da! That is the Visconti Traveling Inkwell. And like I said, once I figure out its ink, this one is currently inked with um, Alexander Hamilton. Which I love, but I have recently gotten a sample of a new ink that I wanna try and um, yeah, I it's going to be probably between this or that. This is Diatrometis Tungsten Purple. I've been obsessed with this ink since finding it on um, Ink Fade's channel. Um, she's used it in a couple of videos. I'll link one of those. 
um, in the description or in the cards. Um, but um, yeah, it's really pretty. It's like a gray, it's more of a gray than this. I think that colors are actually pretty similar. I have it in a pen. Oh, I do have it in a pen, I'll show you. They're actually like pretty similar, but I just haven't decided. I wanna see what it looks like in this pen before I make a decision, but right now it's, right now I'm leaning heavily towards Alexander Hamilton being the permanent ink for this pen. So yeah, but I'm obsessed with this purple. It's still kind of drying, so we'll, I'll let it, I'll let it do its thing. I'll show you later. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. Well, I'm gonna, I'll use this as an example. Move these. And then we have our Peniter ink filler, which doesn't look as nice, I don't think. It's like plastic, which is fine, like it's fine. It just doesn't, I don't know, these seem a lot nicer. Um, they're a little thinner. This will fit. This will technically also fit in your uh, in your pen sleeve, but it's short, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to like squeeze it out. Where's my? So if you put it in there, like it doesn't. Fit. Oh, actually, in this it won't even fit in there. So don't do that. But um, I mean, you still can carry it. It just it's a little wider. Um, And I don't think it looks as nice, but it's much, it's much less expensive. I think these are, this was 70 when I bought it and I think it retails for a higher price now, but I've been seeing them online um, places anywhere from like $50 to, I think like $56 to like 75. Um, there might be a couple places that have it a little higher than that. Um, I, pro I wouldn't spend that much on it to be honest, unless you had the pen and just needed a way to fill it. But um, I ordered this from, there's a couple places that I saw it in the 50s, and I think Pen Chalet had it for $50, and I used a coupon code uh, for 10% off, um, which I usually use the Pen Addict's coupon code. So go listen to their podcast and get the code from them. I don't feel right advertising them for them. Or if you've purchased from them before and have a coupon code, um, because you get a coupon code in every box for 10% off. Um, yeah, just use your coupon code. Um, or Google, maybe you can Google for it. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. So I ended up paying, I think it was like $50 and some change. Which, I mean, is a lot of money for a traveling inkwell. But it, it's worth the peace of mind for me. I definitely get my money's worth out of it. So anyway, so the Peniter one, I don't know much about it. It comes with um, instructions. I think it tells you what, no, it's just instructions about how to do it. Um, I know that this one is cool because it, it, it like, it screws so you can tighten it against the pen and it will fit a lot more pens because of that. You just screw it up and it'll hold like your thickest pens. And then to like secure it, you twist it down. I'll show it on a different pen. Here's a Twisby, because that's a pretty skinny section. You put it in and then you twist the top and then the top like, oops, I didn't do that right. The top like secures it to the pen and then it's it doesn't come out. So it's a little, it's a little more secure and you ha don't have to worry about the leaking as much which I've never had any of these leak. Well, I've never used this one, but okay. I may have just stuck it down in there too far, but anyway. Oh, did I ruin it? Okay, no, we're good. But anyway, so here's, a, here's another small pen. And then to secure it, you would Tighten it. Am I doing this right? I'm sorry. I should have practiced this before I like just started doing this on a video. Maybe this one doesn't fit it. Okay, we'll look. So the one cool thing about the box is it has these holes. So if, okay, so actually this is too small. So if it, um, this is the smallest size that we'll do. So let's see. 
Okay, technically that fits in there. Let me cap these pens before a disaster happens. But if it's a thick pen, if it's bigger than this hole but smaller than this hole, this, uh, this pen filler can accommodate it. So that fits in the realm. So we have Twisby. That, that will work. See, that Kaveco probably won't work. Yeah, unless you go all the way down to the threads, and I don't know how that would work. But again, Kavecos aren't that hard to fill. What about this one? It's a pretty big section. Oh, no, that fits in there, too. Let's see, Pro Gear. Okay, so I could use the Pro Gear in that. Since this is the pen I want to fill, we should test it. Ta-da, so I can, I can fill my pen here, that's awesome. Um, um, what else do I have here? That Jinhao, I don't know, that'll fit too. So yeah, so every pen that I have sitting here that I was worried about will fit in there. So it has to be like a really big pen, and I don't have, I don't think I have a pen that big. Oh, wait. My M800. Let me look. Let me try that. This is probably the biggest, chunkiest pen I have. And that will fit. So. So, yeah. So, cool. Awesome. So, let's go ahead. Um, I think because you guys always see ink that comes in. Um, oh, here, Mommy Studio. Uh, you could probably fill it if you wanted to. Um, I don't usually have a problem filling converter pens. Okay, cat pen. Cat pen is pretty skinny. Is cat pen going to work? I mean, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try if I didn't have that on there. Okay, cat pen's too small. Okay, and some people were asking about why I didn't put, or they were expecting to see a Nebula Space Kitty, and I just don't want to worry about cleaning this pen out. So I prefer metal threads on metal bo pen bodies when possible, but I'm always skeptical, I'm worried about cleaning them, because I don't want them to get rusty. So I don't want to have, I don't want it to be in water any longer than it has to be, and um cleaning a shimmer ink takes a lot of water or like if I let it soak overnight like if I forget about it like is it going to get rusty because that actually happened to me on a pen I had uh yeah it's it, it was yeah it happened to me on a pen and it got rusty and I threw it out so um yeah I probably could have like I don't know ordered something or something but I didn't uh, anyway that's a different story so yeah so let's go ahead and where is the pen? this is the pen I want to fill This is the ink I want to use. Our Sailor Texas look. Look, can you see? There's like nothing left in this bottle. It's empty. It's basically empty. So I'm going to go ahead and, do I need to take this off? No, we're gonna go ahead and fill this with what's left of this ink. And I'm not brave enough to just pour it in there. And I don't think, this one didn't come with like, a, I don't think this came with an eyedropper. Or if it did, it's long gone from this packaging. But I have a pipette, so I'm just going to do it myself. Two mil. All right, that is the end of this bottle of Sailor Texas. You guys see it come in all the time. You never get to see it leave. So there you go. We finished a bottle of ink. Um, okay, so I am at 
just above three cc's, so maybe four cc's? Do cc's translate to mils? Is that what that is? Does this hold 10 mils, does it say? I'm feeling nervous having this open. Does it say? Pens and fill the letters that should be tested. It's just how to fill it. I guess it doesn't explicitly say, but it goes up to 10 cc's, which if 10 cc's equals milliliters, then it'll hold 10 mils. So, okay. So let's go ahead and fill this pen. And hope it works. Tighten it down. Oh no, it's unscrewing. Okay, so the pen, oh, and that pen is coming out. Okay, cool. It's what I've always wanted. Okay, maybe we will read the instructions. <laughs> Just to make sure we're doing it right. Remove the finely enrolled top of the, uh, pour the contents of the ink into the reservoir. Um, close it by pressing down on the top. Okay, yeah. Use the pen gauge to make sure that your pen is neither smaller nor larger than the circumference. All pens and filled for the first time should be tested with water. Okay, yeah. We strongly advise you to empty the pen before inserting it to avoid excessive pressure and polluting the color. Yeah, it's the same color, so I'm not worried about it. Um, walk the pen by rotating the broadly knurled locking section clockwise until it locks, okay? Be sure that the pen or the section is well locked from the rubber of the filler. Turn inkwell upside down and fill the pen with the three fill. Unlock the closing section by unscrewing it. Remove the pen, close the inkwell, clean your nibs. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. I don't have any ink leaking out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm going to suggest holding, like we, like I did with the Visconti one, holding it, and then boop, ta -da. we got like basically a full fill out of that. That's awesome. And it used, let's see, yeah, it used most of the ink. Well, it didn't use most of the ink. But yeah, I used a fair amount of the ink. And then you unscrew this so you can release your pen. And there, you have a pen filled with ink. And then you just screw this back down, put your top on, and there you go. Okay, well, I thought it was gonna use more ink than it did. I probably could have filled it a little more, but that's basically a full fill, so I'm not worried about it. And then wipe your nib off. And we will write Sailor, Texas. There we go. Okay, so we almost used a bottle of ink. I'm just gonna leave it in there because this is a juicy broad nib and I will run through this ink real fast. So I'm just gonna leave it in there and this will be my filler for this pen currently. Um, yeah. I have filled it from the bottle, but I don't get as full of a fill. Like I usually get like a halfway full fill. So this is awesome. So yeah, so, if, oh, look at this color. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, so I will actually save this bottle. I don't know if I'll leave the sticker on it or if I'll peel the sticker off, but um, I'll save this bottle and then use it for something else because, you know, why not? Um, yeah, so that's, that's that, the Paniter filler and the Visconti filler, and we're all, we're all good. Here is a little bit of more of a close-up of those inks. It's a little darker, a little more gray, but yeah, I love it. Exciting. So cool. So that's awesome. Yay. Yay. Okay. Um, that's really all I have to say about these. Um, here's all of our pen fillers that we use today. And my pens are over here. 
and over here, and we're all good. Now, if you're just using this to fill like a cartridge converter pen, you probably don't need like separate ones for each of your pens. But because I have dedicated inks in these, um, I don't mind having a filler for them. Like this one will probably clean out once I use the ink in it. Um, I don't know how the ink keeps in this one. I know that the ink is fine in the Visconti ones. Um, if you're worried about like drying out, I haven't noticed. Um, I haven't noticed anything about that really, but I'd only open it like once I seal it up Like it's it's pretty well sealed and I just you know, just fill the pen when I need to um, Yeah, so that's awesome So and we got to basically see me use a, an entire bottle of ink. Maybe I'll fill another pen Do I have none of these are clean for me to fill? But maybe I'll fill another pen and just get this ink all used up I'll have it in a couple of different pens and then I'll truly be done with a bottle of ink. Sailor Texas, you were the first Sailor State to be done. So anyway, so yeah, well, I guess I don't even need the box anymore. It doesn't matter, whatever. So cool, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Are you thinking about getting one? Do you have a vac filler that you might wanna get one of these for? I don't know, or if you just like travel and want to keep some ink with you um yeah usually i usually well yes i have brought it with me because i do like when i travel i do i find myself doing a lot of journaling uh because i'm like documenting the trip or uh or just if I, it's a work trip and i have time in the evening on my hands like spend a lot of time writing i've only been on like one work trip so it's not like i have a lot to talk about in that instance but um, yeah, but when I travel on vacation and stuff like that, I like to take some time and, um, like write some stuff down about whatever. Um, yeah, so I find it really helpful and I like that this one will fit in a pen case with you. So if you just wanted to carry like this, like if you had one of those Lockby, like, what is it? The Quattro? I don't have one to demonstrate it. Otherwise I would. Or like that Lockby tool roll. I do have one, but I couldn't find it for this video. So I'm sorry about that. Or like carry it in your koozie case. Like you stick it, like you saw, stick it in the, stick it in the sleeve and then put it in your um, koozie case. So yeah, so it's really handy. It's good for traveling. Like I said, it's great for filling these pens that I have permanent um, ink solutions for. Um, I don't change the inks out of these that often because like I said, I hate cleaning them out and you would need to do a full clean out. I do, I did just rinse this out with water every couple of fills. Basically when this is empty and I have to refill it, I will, um, I will like give it a good flush with water. But, um, if I, if it's, if there's still ink in here, then I will just refill it. But that way it still gets some sort of like cleaning rotation. So let me know what you think. Are you thinking about getting one? Um, do you think it's a waste of space? I don't know. Um, I think if you care, if think if you carry mostly cartridge converter pens, you probably aren't gonna, you probably aren't gonna need something like this necessarily because if you have a cartridge converter, you can just like throw a cartridge in there if you run out of ink in your and didn't bring like samples or something, um, or like a piston pen. Like if you're traveling, you're probably gonna fill your piston pens before your or or something. Um, I don't know. I don't travel a whole lot. Um, but yeah, I would, I would make sure my pen is filled up so I wouldn't have to bring ink with me and I'd probably bring like a hundred pens. Um, but yeah, if I was just going to bring one or two, I would definitely carry it. Like when I was going to work a lot and using, like using this, only this pen, like when I first got it, I used this pen like exclusively for the longest time and I would run out of ink at work and then be mad. So, um, yeah, so I would carry this with me when I brought the pen because it doesn't have an ink window. You can't see like this one. I can kind of tell, um, when I'm going to be low, but this one you can't at all. Um, I love the patina on this clip, by the way, the bronze age. So pretty. Um, yeah, so that is uh, my power fill and I'm rambling. I've been rambling like way too long So I'm just gonna go now. I hope that you enjoyed this video found it helpful um, like I said if you have questions that I have not answered already or or just have questions in general Excuse me. Leave them below in the comments um, Yeah, I think it's a great little tool um, if I didn't have these two pens, I probably wouldn't have it. Maybe I would have looked into it for like this pen because it's the same sort of filling system. Um, but yeah, if I didn't have a, a power filler or a vac filler, 
Um, I probably wouldn't really find these necessary, but um, it's way easier to fill a pen. For me, anyway. I find it a lot easier to fill the pen all the way and know that it's filled all the way by using this. It's not a requirement. It's not a necessity. It's an overpriced item that I find helps me a lot. <laughs> but I would say it's not necessary, but it makes my life a whole lot easier. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been trying to say goodbye for 10 minutes now, so I'm really going to go now. Um, coming up next, we don't have anything actually filmed in the pipeline. Well, I'm going to probably post a couple of ink shelf videos. I was thinking this weekend of maybe going through and uh, swatching all the ink that isn't ink studio ink or isn't part of a set that I want to focus on and just like speed it up and maybe do voiceover um, or like a, a pen a pen friend thing. Um, I have a couple sets of pen friend samples to do and we have more sailor ink samples to do and more um, the Pannonia ink samples. I want to finish that set but like I have a bunch of like random ink samples that I've gotten either because I've gotten random packs or just wanted to do them. Um, so I thought I might do just a big swatchy video where I just get those done and get those out of the way and I can put them away and then speed it up or maybe not speed it up. I don't know. It'll probably be like a three hour video. Um, speed it up or cut it into parts or I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't decided. I was kind of leaning towards the speeding it up and voicing over. I've never done that before. I don't think I've done that before. Um, I think I did that in a video, like a section of a video where I cut in while I was editing, but usually I don't, I've never done like a main video as an, as a voiceover. <clears throat> so, um, I thought that'd be kind of fun to do that way. I can get and just throw some tunes on and I don't have to talk forever and then just swatch all my ink and then get it up there and then you can see it and still, still get to see it at least, um, in case there's something you're looking for. So yeah, I don't know. We've got stuff coming eventually someday. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video useful and enjoyable and it helps you make a decision if that's what you wanted to do. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Love you.